Hey BHS, I'm Lillian Naranjo. And I'm Skyland. Long time no see. Today is January 27th and welcome back to another episode of BHS TV. Let's roll that intro. Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, the evening TV. <laughs> Have you ever been to London? No, I haven't. Well, I heard that the BHS band traveled to London to play in the New Year's Day Parade. That sounds so cool. Let's go find out some more about it. Quite the New Year's Day performance from the Barrington High School Marching Band. They brought in 2023 ahead of us in London. Hi, my name is Rohan Munagaker and I'm a senior uh, at BHS and I'm also one of the co-drum majors for the Barrington High School Marching Band along with Alicia Miller and this winter break we had the wonderful opportunity to travel to London to perform at the London New Year's Day Parade as well as at Cadogan Hall. A quick overview of the trip is that the band reached London around December 28th. Um, we spent a few days sightseeing, we saw stuff like Westminster Abbey and Big Ben and Trafalgar Square and Piccadilly Circus. New Year's Day was our parade which we walked down all the way Pic Piccadilly Circus Road and um, there were like 750,000 people crowding the streets. After that, we visited Windsor Castle and Oxford University, and um, then we performed at Cadogan Hall, which was our concert. Over winter break, the band got to go to London and perform in the London New Year's Day Parade. Being able to go with all of like, my friends in the band and being able to have the parade experience together was just so rewarding. And being able to go to all of like London's greatest landmarks and visiting Oxford and Windsor was super awesome. Some of those landmarks are just so beautiful. Going on this trip with the band, who most of us are all friends and we all know each other, and being able to ride on the bus together and have those moments together was really special. Marching in that city's annual New Year's Day parade, 95 members of the band made the trip across the pond. It's the school's third time performing in the parade. Organizers call it a unique cultural and artistic opportunity for students. That's so cool. Did you hear about the blood drive that's happening? Yeah, I've heard a little about it. It's important that people know about it. Here's a short segment from Student Council about the upcoming event. Hi, I'm Liam Duncan from Student Council. I'm here to tell you about our blood drive. We're running on February 10th from 8 to 1 in the main gym. Look for this poster and scan the QR code and make your appointment. You should donate blood because every two seconds somebody in the U.S. needs blood and only 38% of people are eligible to donate. We're encouraging everyone to donate, however, there are some regulations to be able to do so. Uh, for example, weight and height and age. You have to be 16 and over. When you're 16, you have to have a permission slip from your parents, but 17 and over do not. Hi, I'm Jonathan Carbello. I'm also from Student Council. And there are some things to keep in mind if you are eligible to donate. If you're eligible to donate, make sure you look for the QR codes around the school on the posters so you can sign up for an appointment as soon as possible. It's also important to keep in mind the day of the donation to eat very healthy and drink plenty of fluids. Also make sure to bring a photo ID for that donation. If you are looking to donate blood, make sure you check in with your teachers as it's gonna take about an hour to donate blood. If you're gonna donate red cell platelets, it will take around two hours to donate blood. If you are looking to donate blood on February 10th, make sure to look out for the posters and scan the QR code. Thank you. Make sure to donate. So Sky, do you know what Battle of the Bands is? No, I don't know. What is it? I don't know, but I think I know someone who would. Let's send it over to Ella to get you in the know. What's up, Barrington? I'm Ella Ricarte, and it's time to get you in the know. Future meeting dates include January 31st, February 14th, February 28th, March 13th, March 28th, and April 18th. Have any questions? Email jbroma at bsd220.org or esilverberg at bsd220.org for more information. 
Now listen in as we transition to Barrington Campus Life Student Center to learn more about the Battle of the Bands. What's up BHS? I'm Ella Ricarte and today we are going to be learning about the Battle of the Bands. As you can see, we are currently at the Barrington Campus Life Student Center and we are going to be talking to the orchestrator as well as some contestants. Let's get to it! Today I'm with... Tony Al, the director at the Barrington Campus Life Center. And what is the Battle of the Bands? Oh yes, the Battle of the Bands. This thing has been years in the making. We wanted to give a stage to all the musicians, the artists, the bands out there who've always been dying to compete and show off what, uh, what skills and talents they have. What are you most excited for for the Battle of the Bands? So we're definitely really excited to share this opportunity to be on stage and meet a whole bunch of different people who are also very passionate about music. So what is the grand prize? Well, here's the deal. Every concert or battle round, we're going to actually take all the ticket sales and we're going to pool all that money towards uh, a cash prize at the end. And then a generous donor is actually going to double that. So it could be a couple thousand dollars, but you know what? Sky's the limit. could also be a whole lot more. And then on top of that, we're going to offer a professional recording contract on top of that as well. That's amazing. Yeah. So how can you register to become a part of the Battle of the Bands? Sure, sure. Jump on to BarringtonCampusLifeCenter.org backslash Battle of the Bands or go onto our Instagram, follow that, and you can go up to the bio and follow the link uh, to the registration page. Now here's the deal. We're only taking 10 bands and we're about halfway through already. And why are you guys excited to perform at the Battle of the Bands? We're really excited to get a bunch of kids from a bunch of different musical backgrounds together to get on a stage and perform in front of a crowd and we can't wait to share the stage with everyone and really have a good time. Thank you so much, Tony. Yeah, you're welcome. We're so excited. Again, if you have any inclination or any desire, any excitement about coming and performing, this is your opportunity. No one's too big and no one's too small. In fact, the stage is for all, so we hope to see you here and share it with you. Thanks to Tony and the band members. I hope you all enjoyed learning more about the Battle of the Bands and hope to see you all on stage. Now it's time to get you back into the know. BHS TV filmed a music video for rock band Last in Line, which includes former members of Def Leppard, Black Sabbath, and Dio. You can find the video on YouTube or by scanning this QR code. Good luck to the Barrington Chess team as they head to sectionals this weekend. Last but not least, congratulations to the All-State musicians Ella Bobian, Evan Sway, Kenny Gu, Manny Hall, Matthew Herr, Ethan Kim, Samuel Pluster, Grayson Seitz, and Jimmy Zhang. That's it for this week, BHS. If you have any upcoming events or information you'd like to share on In The Know, email 238inthenow at gmail.com before Tuesday of next week. Have a great weekend. I'm Ella Ricarte, and now you're In The Know. Thanks, Ella, and good luck to the chess team at sectionals. You know the chess team isn't the only team going to sectionals? Yeah, I heard gymnastics is too. Let's send it over to Sahil at the sports desk to discuss about all of our great teams at BHS. What's up, BHS? I'm Sahil Mittal here for another edition of Barrington Sports Desk. Today on the show, we'll see how our winter sports have been performing as well as preview some upcoming matchups. It's January 27th, and you're watching Barrington Sports Desk. First up on the show is boys basketball. The Broncos won their senior night matchup against Streamwood last weekend by 35 points. Their next game is tomorrow at Dundee Crown. The cheer team will head to sectionals on Saturday at Belvedere North at 530 after finishing second at conference recently. Good luck to them. Next up is Barrington Wrestling who recently finished fifth in the MSL conference tournament but won the MSL West Division with a 5-0 division record. Senior John Fear also won the individual conference title at 170 pounds. Now moving on to girls basketball. The gym was packed last weekend to watch the Phillies outscore Conant 53-35. They then followed up that win with another victory against Schaumburg earlier this week. The Phillies are next in action tomorrow night at 7 p.m. for their senior night, so make sure to come out and support your Phillies. Finally, the dance team is competing at state tomorrow after placing second in sectionals. Good luck to the Broncats. That's all I've got for you this week, BHS. Have a good weekend. I'm Sahil Mithil, sending it back over to the Anchor Desk. Thanks, Sahil. Well, that's all the time we have today, BHS. I'm Sky Lundy. And I'm Lillian Arano. See you next week.